Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil and last video we actually learned that how we can just make a registration form and get the value in the controller. So in this video we will see that how we can submit this value in the database with the encrypted password and uh, after just uh, logged in or registration, how we can hide the login and registration functionality and get the username here. All right. So these are the steps for this video. So first of all, we will import the user model. Why we will use the import mo uh, user model only? Because our database table name is users here. All right. And we need a name, password, email, and contact us information, ID, and update and uh, created date are automatically updated. So after that, we will encrypt our password, save the data in the database. Then we will save the name in the session and hide the login and registration menu also. So now let's come to the our rest uh, controller, resto controller, and first of all we have to import the two things. Uh, now let me zoom it out a little bit. One is the user controller, user model, sorry, user, and it will be placed in the app. And after that we have to import the crypto class. Why we have to use the crypto class? So the reason is because this will help us to encrypt and decrypt the password. All right. So now let's come here and uh, let's just make an object of the user model like user equal to new user. And uh, after that, let's make a user underscore name field quality it will do it will just get the data from dollar request and uh, input will be like name we can put a semicolon after that let's do more copy and paste like for the email address for the password for the contact and at the last we will use dollar user save method okay so with that case we can just change the uh, input name like email then uh, we can change the name with the email also use the password and the password will be used here in, in the encrypted form so we can simply use here the password like uh, crypt Co-presentation method encrypt and in the encrypt method we can put here the name and now name will be encrypted in a encrypted form so at the last we can use the contact and the field name should be the contact also Allow, now let's use the semicolon after that the saving the data we will redirect and use the data save in the session also but first of all we will check this condition is it working fine or not here you can see that we have the three entries so now let's get ready for the fourth entry so for the fourth entry I am just going to enter the data like uh, Billy White and the email can be like Billy the rate test.com password can be like one two three four and in contact is also can be one two three four now let's see what we got here so there is nothing to view because we are nothing to return here and anything else so now let's check we did we get the data or not now you can see that see that Billy White is here so that means this is working fine so we can redirect it now so just return here redirect and uh, redirect can be at the home page so we can just make it like directly like this but with that we can also save the data in the session so that we can populate the uh, like hi billy and all so the user can the okay so here we will not use the flash session here we will use the normal session so use the user and name can be just uh, dollar request then name uh, 
sorry that's the input and we can put a name as an input here all right so now let's see are we able to redirect so uh, let's come back here and uh, let's make some new entry like peter we have the previous name peter no so we can use the peter and email can be also peter at the rate test.com password can be one two three four and contact can be like one two three four five six seven so just enter now you can see that this is redacted here but we are still able to see the login and registration form if session is stored then there should be our profile all right not the login and registration because after the login and registration user can no not able to see these see these manuals so now let's come out the layout.play.php and here i can just put a condition like the rate if session colon get user is present then it should be seen only a uh, one menu like this all right else so you can just choose here at the rate else then we can just see these two menus also and here we can use the and if like this all right and here we can just put here welcome in the double curly braces we can put here session as username so now let's see once again what we are getting here okay so session is not found let me check I think I just misspelled the session. Yep. Now you can see that again. You mm -hmm. should be there, but it's not here. So let me check. Oh, that's my bad. Actually, I have to use here put, not the cat. So now let's come back here and register new one like Kelly and email can be like kelly at test.com and password can be like one two three four and contact can be one two three four and one two three four again and let's try to save it now you can see that welcome kelly is here we are on the home page and the values are stored in the database also right so in the upcoming video we will see that uh, how we can just protect the things like we this page should not be open until the user is not logged in and all so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care